How's it going, Dean? How's it, are you? Fine yourself. All Thank good. you for coming out today with this, <sighs> I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, it's more like a Frankenstein uh, conversion. And uh, just quickly, just take us through the car. I know you said it's a 1970 VW Beetle. Yeah, 1970. Uh, it started out life as a 1970 yeah. stock motor. Um, everything was stock on the car. Basically, I had a set of mags on it and I thought, you know, I think I should take it full out and do a full on build. Yeah, on and it. you definitely went uh, full out here. Yeah. Uh, just quickly, custom paint. Is this, were yeah. you, did you paint this? Uh, custom paint, we actually bought it with the same color. We, yeah. we repainted the back end of the car because um, I widened the rear fenders. Yeah. Uh, custom deck lid, all of that. Okay. Um, yeah. So and it, what, what suspension are you running here? Suspension, it's a custom designed rose joint suspension. Yeah. Um, it was link pin to start with. Now it's all custom rose joint links and everything. So I can now set cambers for the track. Okay, and just to be clear, this is a street legal track racing car. Yeah, street you use legal. You the Desi Raceway, you do yeah. circuit racing. And one of the reasons for your engine, because I know I asked you, why did you not go turbo? And you said it's because of the class you race in. Yeah. And uh, can you just open the bonnet and just show us what's going on here? That's a lot uh, fitted into this space, hey? Can you just take us through what's going on here? Okay, firstly, which Sabaru is this engine out of? This this came out of the EJ204, the normal two liter R. Yeah. Um, it's been fully worked. Um, internals are from STR. Yeah. Uh, STR rods, pistons, crank came standard forged. Um, it's got Brian Crower stage two cams in it um, to make up for no turbo. Yeah. Uh, increased compression ratio, 10 to 8, 10.8 to one compression ratio. That's to obviously increase for yeah, naturally yeah, aspirated. Rated, yeah. yeah. And how um, did how did uh, the STI pistons not lower the compression? Because in the STI is turbocharged. Yeah, it, the STI that we skim the heads. Okay. Um, and also raise the deck height as well. Okay. Yeah. And you said it's making 182 kilowatts on the wheels. Yeah, 182 and, and 319 torque. And what does this car weigh? This weighs 800 kgs. So 800 kgs, 180 yeah. kilowatts. That's, yeah. that's something yeah. interesting it's to drive. And another interesting thing that I read here, you have the OEM VW Beetle gearbox. Yes, um, it's it's a long ratio gearbox. Um, yeah. So you your your speeds are quite high. Yeah. Um, I've kept it that way to not put a lot of strain on the gearbox. Um, it's obviously fully worked uh, billet side plates. Yeah, and chromoly side shafts. Yeah, chromoly side shafts, uh, billet side plates also with uh, steel retainers as well. Okay, and like did you have to obviously customize the engine mountings for this? Yeah, e engine mountings, I put a full cradle underneath. Yeah. Um, so basically Subaru cradle bolted straight to the beetle body. Obviously a lot of fabrication went into it, um, not just simple bolt-ons. Yeah. Uh, full, it's got a, basically a back half modification. And uh, clutch, uh, what clutch are you using? Clutch is a stage three cap, uh, yeah. clutch from the USA with a normal disc, um, but with an uprated compound on it. And yeah. uh, obviously the bell housing would have to have been custom fabricated. Uh, bell housing, I've got a adapter plate for that. Okay, yeah. and uh, sure, there's, there's too much going on here <laughs> for me to even, uh, it looks like a turbocharged engine, if you can look at this, but it's not, it's not nationally aspirated. Firstly, how do you fix anything that like if something has to happen because looking at the space here yeah space i've made custom covers on the side so i can get to spark plugs whenever whenever i need to check the plugs um working on the intake i strip out a few things and i can get everywhere i've, okay. I've kept the, the engine sort of normal yeah um, no additional add-ons that take it too over the top okay yeah. I, I know i'm asking something really uh basic here but where's the air filter air filter sits inside this box here okay so you have box. these yeah. ducts that are that are pushing air to the air filter yeah that runs mm -hmm. straight through the body straight into the air filter almost like a cold air intake Take. yeah judging uh, by the looks of this conversion you could easily tell that you spent some serious money yeah uh can you give us ballpark figures ballpark i'd say about 100 to 150 to 180,000. okay yeah. and uh would you ever consider selling the car no, this, this is my baby. Okay, uh, no, I, yeah. I fully understand. Guys, I'm just going to take you quickly into the interior. Can you just open for us? 
as you can see this is a full track spec uh, VW Beetle he has a roll cage one seat racing steering wheel dig digital dash uh, obviously all the mandatory switches for circuit racing that's that you have to have obviously to be qualified yeah. to race right yeah, and full. all his monitoring gauges are on the dash it's actually very neat inside this is what the rear looks like this is the roll cage he has a full racing seat just take us through your wheels these are 17 inch folk folk racing hey yeah this is the wheels yeah, 17 inch uh, Volk racing wheels. Yeah. Um, they're obviously reps. Um, I got these from a guy in Durban. Um, they are 8.5 J at the rear and yeah. 7.5 at the front. So obviously narrow and wide. Um, and they're wrapped with uh, Continental Conti Sport contacts. Okay. And just yeah. uh, the gearbox, is it four or five speed? Uh, four speed. Four yeah. speed. Okay. And you said it's a long ratio, obviously. Yeah. Okay, and lastly, can you just start it, start it up so we can hear what this sounds like? actually hear that it is Subaru powered you can hear the exhaust on the boxer motor what exhaust system are you running here it's a, a custom full custom exhaust yeah, um, yeah I've, I've fabricated with guys in town yeah okay perfect man it's gonna do a quick walk around 